you dropped one. friends welcome back we are up here in the garden and I am getting ready to make my tomatoes some tea so this is my um, tomato bloom boosting tea to get lots of actual tomatoes versus just a lot of leaves so I've actually never used this uh, fertilizer it's it's for making tea but it's a new one that my husband brought home for me and I'm gonna give it a try it's a by Active Vegetable Supercharger. And it's through the Purple Cow compost. But mostly what I'm gonna use is my wood stove ash. So that is going to really give my tomatoes a boost. I'm gonna be using this like a flour sack type material. Okay, the instructions are on the bottom and it says one tablespoon per gallon. So I actually have a, a garbage can that I'm gonna make my tea in. So I'm just going to guess the amount. <laughs> So I've just tied it onto here. And as you can see, it's already putting its nutrients into the water. So that is going to make a great tea for my tomato plants. Okay, time to clean out the coop. I've actually been putting this off, even though it's a much smaller coop than originally. Originally, this entire building here was the chicken coop. But when we got rid of those 80 plus chickens, we just use it as storage now. So my husband built this little storage area on the side or it used to be, he made it into the new coop. And I've been avoiding it because I don't like spiders. So um, yeah, that's why I avoid cleaning the coop out. But it needed to be done today. So I'm proud of myself, I got it done. <laughs> So I'm gonna be picking berries today, and this is something that I do probably every other day or every three days. And that's because I want to make sure and get them when they're ripe. So how many of you have just like a couple of raspberry plants or a couple of strawberry plants and you never have enough to make jam? 
I've actually heard people complain about this. So what I do, because I really don't have enough berries, I don't pick enough at one time to make jam. So I pick them and I freeze them. I put them on a cookie sheet like this and I put them in the freezer. And then once they're froze, I, and I just have them in there for just a couple of hours. Once they're froze, I take them out and separate them into freezer bags by the berry type. And this is how I accumulate enough to make my jams and jellies for preserving for the year. So I hope this gives you some ideas because it took me a few years to figure out to do this. <laughs> So I'm also going to be tying up some tomato plants today. Most of my indeterminate tomatoes are in really extra large size cages because they get so big. And my determinate tomatoes are in smaller cages. But this cherry tomato needed to be tied up and I've just tied it to a stick. Um, I had somebody asking about how to know the difference between determinate and indeterminate tomato plants. An indeterminate tomato plant is growing to an indeterminate size. It could get really big and it's, it fruits all summer and will stop at an indeterminate time sometime in the fall. A determinate tomato will only grow to a determined size, a smaller size, and it will only fruit once and it's done. So it's determined. Um, in a specific time frame. So I hope that helps you remember it's by size. So indeterminate size, like these tomatoes are really giant, really tall. And sometimes they're not, sometimes they don't get that tall. It's indeterminate. Well, the trees will be big enough at some point where you, they'll be, you know, like a canopy over the top and it'll be all open underneath. So Mike has been working on firewood, splitting and cutting firewood pretty much every weekend. Um, it's the only way to get it done. So now that we have a wood stove, this is something that has to be done in the summer. Not fun, but definitely a necessity. Let's see how our tea is doing. Ooh, that is some good looking tea. Oh yeah. Can you tell? is some good looking tea. So even though this tea has only been brewing for one day, I'm going to actually use some today because it just looks really rich and full of nutrients for my tomatoes. And I haven't watered my tomatoes today, so any liquid that they get, they're gonna really soak it up, if that makes sense. Generally, so. you want this tea to steep for three or four days, but Let's give it a shot. Look at that rich color. Tomatoes are gonna love that.
this. My lilies are blooming. These are the Easter lilies that I got at Easter and just put them in a pot and brought them up to the garden. Look, you see that? I put these in here on Monday. Today is Thursday. That's how fast those get roots. Okay friends, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Mike and I are gonna sit here by the fire and roast hot dogs for dinner. And I'm going to color in my adult coloring book. How many of you guys color? Um, my friend Esther had this one. I got this at Barnes and Noble. It's World Within Worlds by Kirby Rosanes. I'm probably saying it wrong. It's a really good one. I don't know. Um, it's just got really interesting. There's one that I was working on. It's got a city underwater. And it's just really, here's a lion. But it's got like all of the forest animals in there and the trees. His mane is trees. And... This is one I'm working on. So if you look at it, you can see like surfers in the water and sharks and stuff. I don't know. It's kind of fun. Let's take your mind off of stuff, I guess. Here's a cat. Like an Egyptian cat. And there's the monkey that's on the cover but yeah just kind of relaxing sit out here and listen to perry stone and color in my adult coloring book and eat hot dogs for dinner and i made some rice pudding so that sounds like a good dessert so i'll keep you posted on how my tomatoes are doing and i hope you're all having a great day i'll talk to you next time Bye bye